and welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor here on YouTube. And in today's video, you know how they say to never judge a book by its cover, right? I ignored all of that and I was judging all up and through. So I was browsing through the Sephora website and I pretty much just went towards the skincare products that looked the prettiest to me. And then I figured, you know what, I'm gonna get them and then we'll try them on camera to see how they actually work out. So keep watching. All right, so first up, this Herbivore Amethyst Crushed Amethyst Exfoliating Body Polish. I don't know, for a second there, I couldn't read too good. Um, I picked this up solely because it looked pretty. Herbivore has such like really pretty, clean looking packaging. When I say clean, I don't mean clean as in, you know, the way some of the clean beauty people go on and on and on about ingredients that are toxic for you and they're bad and frying brimstone. I mean, just like the font and everything, the design is clean. And then just look at that, like, this looks amazing. Now, for this challenge, I didn't even read to see what products did. I mean, like I knew this was a body polish and then there's some other things like I know that's a cleanser and whatnot, but I wasn't looking at ingredients. I wasn't looking at reviews. I was solely looking at aesthetics. So let's give her a whirl. So here we are in my bathroom. I'm not gonna take a full on shower in here. I just wanna, you know, first of all, let me get my stuff off. It's the lens. I think I'm gonna get you right there. What's up, y'all? All right, so. Okay, so first of all, this is $44, a lot more than I would spend on a body uh, scrub, you know, in, in this stage of life. You know, earlier you would catch me spending probably like 50, 60, I probably, you know, I would, oh, I don't have seen the light. Um, ooh, the texture on, ooh, the texture feels really good. What does it smell like? Mm, it kind of smells like jerry curl juice. <laughs> Or like curl activator kind of it's not it's not giving the nose the pleasing you know value the product itself feels really good it feels like the granules in it are really fine so I'm just gonna sometimes with the body skin I do like to you know get a little dry kind of exfoliation action going on I would never do this with my face because my my face hates a friction so I would I'm trying this at home, kids. So rather than turning the shower on and then like wetting myself up for, because I got more to film, I'm just gonna put some. The smell of it would turn me off. Like I wish it had like a nicer smell, like maybe like vanilla or lavender or cocoa butter. Give a girl something. It just. It doesn't smell as nice as it looks, but when you, you know, obviously when you have the water on here, this feels really good. So this would be like, I'm, this feels good. This feels like, oh wow, you know, I'm giving myself a nice little like rub down. Um, the oils that are in it make it so that like, you're not drying your skin out. You can get, I like to get a little extra on the elbows because sometimes the elbows be a little, <laughs> you know how the elbows be a little dry sometimes. Um, I'm gonna get a little more water. That feels good. Let me rinse and then give like my final first impressions. This feels really good. Let me rinse. All right, so that, oh my God. And it, so I washed it off. I towel dried a little bit, but I left my skin still a little bit damp because that's what I would normally do, especially now that it's winter. Um, and then I would put moisturizer on top of this um, while my skin is still damp. But even before I even got a chance to put the moisturizer on, I'm still feeling like the oils, it feels very nice and nourishing on my skin. I love the way that this feels. I hate the smell though. Oh, oh in the name of the curl. All right, let's see, what would I rate this? Out of 10, I'd give it like a 6.5. Like, 
This is not doing anything different than like a body scrub that I could have bought from the drugstore. But she's giving, she's giving you looks, right? This is the girl you go to when you want the looks and you're looking for like that aesthetic. And you know, sometimes those things make people lighten their moods, make people feel good. And I'm all for things that make you feel good. So I give it a 6.5 out of 10. I was thinking like after I, like if I didn't like this, I would, you know, return it, you know? But I'll keep it. I'll keep it here in the shower. This might be fun to use, but I hate the way it smells though. All right, so I just put my moisturizer on the arm. Oh my God, my skin feels like silk, so. All right, not so bad with our first printed product. So next up, I bought the, again from Herbivore, because Herbivore has some really pretty things. So I got the Pink Cloud Rose Water Creamy Jelly Cleanser. Let me open her up. Now again, I, <laughs> I got this purely for the aesthetics. Um, it says that it removes um, makeup and, you know, it cleanses as well. Looking at the texture, I don't think this is going to do a great job removing my makeup um, as, as maybe they think <laughs> it might. But with this, I'll do one side of my face and see how it works. And then, you know, the other side of my face, I'll just kind of really, we'll see how it works. Thank you. Gotta admit, I'm not having high hopes for this. This is probably not gonna get rid of most of my makeup, but we'll see. This Ula Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser, you know, had the same claim that it removes your makeup and your um, it cleanses in one step. And I was like, yeah, right, Ula Henriksen, you ain't gonna do it. And it did, so. <laughs> this one is not kind of saying that it's gonna do it in the same step, but we'll see. It said it's gonna remove the makeup. You say you're gonna remove makeup, you better remove makeup. I think they probably weren't anticipating <laughs> as much makeup as I have on. <laughs> okay, normally with my lashes, I like to take a little cleansing oil and gently remove them because you know, the lash glue, I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> rip everything off. So I'm just gonna take a little cleansing oil so that it comes off easily, you know I'm trying. Some, sometimes I do just rip them off, but then I'm like, girl, you gotta do better. <laughs> okay. All right, let me wipe my hands. It's like hard deciding how much light I want in this bathroom. <laughs> All right, here we go. I do love that it has one of those like turn, I don't know what you call it, turn key, turn lock, things with the cleanser. Cause then like if you, throw this in your bag because you know you're going out to spend the evening outside and you want to throw this in your purse it's not gonna like spill all over the place you just you know lock it all right it's not overly fra it's not overly fragrance this is the second herbivore product i'm trying in this video and I've never tried their stuff before, even though like I always look at it like, ooh, that looks so pretty. For it to look so pretty, it's not heavily fragrance. I gotta see if maybe these are fragrance free or maybe unscented. Cause like I said, I was just, I wasn't looking at ingredients or anything like that. It might remove makeup. It has that jelly texture to it. So it might, it might have, oh, wait a minute now. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it is kind of getting in there. Oh shoot, Herbivore. Now the moment of truth is really gonna be, what does eye makeup do? All right, let's try it. Let me put a little bit more on my hand, <laughs> just in case. Because if it's one thing I hate, is you don't put enough on your eye, on the eye area, and then it's just like, okay, let's try. It's doing things. Now I know on camera it probably looks like I'm being mad rough, but um, trust me, it's not, I'm not being rough. Well, I'll be a damned. I do think I would probably need to, turn the water off so you can hear me. I do think I would probably need to do another cleanse of the cleanser just to make sure everything is off. Um, but I'm impressed. So far. <laughs> All right, so I 
don't know what you guys can see in this light, but that did a really great job. I mean, granted when I'm washing my face, a lot of the makeup does get kind of pushed in my hairline, so I would need to do another cleanse or at least take a um, cotton pad with some micellar water and, you know, just kind of make sure I get the makeup and whatnot out of my hairline. But this did some things. I am not mad at it. You might need to go in, maybe not as hard as a cleanse the second time around, but you may need to go in again to just make sure, you know, like the hairline and whatnot um, is properly being dealt with. But that did what that did a pretty good job. Because I had on foundation, I have on highlight and contour, concealer, stuff set with powder, eyeshadow, waterproof um, eyeliner, mascara, like. I'm gonna wash the other side of my face and we'll move on to the next pretty product. Y'all, I'm not even mad. <laughs> I'm not even mad. And the funny thing is Herbivore is one of those brands where I've seen their stuff and I'm like, oh my God, that looks so pretty. But I assume like, oh, it's so pretty, but it probably doesn't really do much. And then the price point, like I said, I have, I'm in a different season of life when it comes to price points. I used to spend $100 on moisturizers and them, them days are gone <laughs> but um yeah i i was expecting this to not work and expecting me to return it i'm keeping this this is nice like most of the makeup that remained <laughs> remained on the bottle because i was touching the bottle as i was removing the makeup but not bad oh no okay i just looked in the mirror and found the problem <laughs> Oh, we were rooting for you. We believed in you. I have never in my life, well, I don't even know how that thing goes. I ain't even gonna try to <laughs> subject y'all to that. Y'all may not be able to see it, but I can for sure see it when I look in this mirror much closely. There is glitter, like, I look like one of those Kira filters right now. Is there glitter? It's making me feel like, was there glitter in the cleanser? Because I did have glitter on my eyes. You know, with my eye makeup, <laughs> that glitter is all over <laughs> my face. Let me do one more cleanse and see how that helped. Okay, on my second cleanse, I feel like I'm not seeing the glitter, <laughs> but I also didn't see it after the first one. Let's see, I'm gonna dry my, pat my face down if I'm still seeing it and I'm turning the towel on the other side so like if there was any glitter residue in the towel. Okay, good, the glitter's gone. <laughs> I was about to say there's a glitch in the matrix. I mean, okay, the glitter's not completely gone. I still see some glitter on my face. Now, it's not a fluke because I often wear glitter um, on my eyes when I do my eye makeup and I've never had that happen before, but I'm still not going, I, I, I won't, I won't, I mean, I won't say this is the best cleanser I've ever tried, but I'd say I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10. Not bad. I'd use it again, maybe on a non-glitter day, which doesn't happen often. <laughs> All right, our next product, again from Herbivore, they just keep coming up with stuff. So this is their Prism 20% AHA plus 5% BHA Exfoliating Glow Facial. Now. Guys, I'm just trying out different products. This is not a routine. Anyway, <laughs> um, again, I did not look at ingredients for this challenge. I was just looking purely at the product packaging aesthetics. This is gorgeous. It has some like really cool iridescent pink, purple, and like teal color to it. You're gonna do this. It's a one to two times a week mask. Um, apply a thin layer to clean skin, leave on for 20 minutes. For sensitive skin, leave on five to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna rinse with warm water. So let me put this on and then I'll take a break and like scroll through Instagram. I'm glad they put these here because then, you know, like people won't go sticking their fingers in the products when you're trying to buy them. I'm gonna, oh, I just wasted. <laughs> That's like $3.75 worth of product. That's now on my robe. Lord, try to scoop some up. <laughs> so thin layer. Okay, so the iridescent color is only in the packaging. Maybe in certain lighting, you'd be able to maybe see that color on my actual face. 
So if you were like, oh my god, I'm gonna get that, it's gonna be really cool for like an Instagram picture or whatever, like you probably not, you probably gonna have to put another filter on top of it to get like a really cool effect. But um, it feels very cool, not like um, cold, but you know, it's, it's cool. I'm so mad that I wasted <laughs> some of it. Let me set my timer. I'm gonna set this for 10 minutes, set the timer for 10 minutes because I've never tried this product before so I don't wanna go the full 20. I'll see how I'm at at 10 minutes. Let me go set my timer. Oh, I'm just dropping. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, set that for 10 minutes because like I said, I've never tried this particular product before and that's a smart way to ease your way in to something new. You don't wanna go full out messing up your skin. I like to take a nice conservative easy approach. So I'll see where I'm at at 10 minutes. Maybe I'll let it go up to 15 depending on what my skin is doing. Um, I'm not feeling any tingling or anything like that. It just feels regular. I can see like, uh, you can see the product is on my skin. Like my skin looks like there's something on there, but nothing crazy. I will come back once the time is up. All right, here we are after 10 minutes. I don't feel any tingling. The only thing that, turn my phone off. <laughs> the only thing that I feel is that my face feels a little bit sticky, which makes sense. Um, but other than that, I, I don't feel, you know, it doesn't feel weird or anything like that. I probably could leave it on a little bit longer, but you know, just a little lesson and all the little fun we have in here is when you're trying something new, especially something like an active ingredient, especially something like, you know, an AHA, which can be, you know, a little bit, can cause some irritation and we know that irritation can lead to inflammation and hyperpigmentation ease your way into starting something new so I'm going to practice what I preach and rinse this off so you want to rinse this off with warm water right is that what it said to do <laughs> oh fill it with the box Remove with warm water and follow immediately with an herbivore facial oil for best results. But you know what? I will say that using a brand's pro you don't have to use a brand, every single product in from a brand in a routine. Like you don't have to use their cleanser, their um, toner, their moisturizer, their sunscreen, all that and third. But if you do, it's not the worst thing in the world, obviously, because brands do create their products to work in tangent with each other. So if you're someone who you're like, I'm so sick and tired of figuring out, can I layer my lactic acid with my this and that and a third or blah, 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 you might benefit from using, you know, a brand's, you know, products within their product line, right? And... <laughs> And by that, I mean, like, for instance, Murad is a brand that has a lot of product lines. Like, they have a vitamin C line. They have adult, an adult acne line. I mean, like, use those products. Because there's some brands that have different products, but those products still might, they're, they're, they weren't created to be cohesive in a routine, if that makes sense. So, let me rinse this off. Now, I don't have an herbivore, I don't have an herbivore facial oil or any other products other than like the 50 million that I just tried, but I did pick up the Saturday Skin um, Waterfall Glacier, Glacier, <laughs> Glacier Water Cream. I was just looking at how pretty that looks. I am usually one who applies my moisturizer while my skin's still a little bit damp, but sitting here talking to you, then I had to go find where I put the moisturizer because I thought I brought it in here, but no, it was back in the bedroom and I had to figure out where I put it. My face kind of, you know, the water kind of dried from my face and that's not the optimal condition I would want my skin to be in to apply a moisturizer, especially a, a water cream. Um, normally I would just take some water and just <laughs> splash that back on my face. Um, but this is also where you can use like a hydrating mist or a toner, like a regular toner in your routine, not an exfoliating toner. Um, so let's open her up. Oh, excuse me, not with, not you with the fancy, uh, insert thing. Okay, so now I won't <laughs> waste a product on my robe like I did with the, uh, <laughs> herbivore AHA oh my god that feels really good I like water creams in my like as a moisturizer especially um 
they make they make water creams for dry skin as well but I always tend to associate water creams gel creams gel moisturizers with oily skin because they're able to like you really feel hydrated but um, it doesn't feel heavy which I like especially for oily skin now here's the thing though with gel creams that you might notice especially if you're a gel cream user so you know how hyaluronic acid um, you know holds a thousand times its weight in water and it's this really great ingredient right um, but the thing is for some people especially if, if you live in like a dry or um, even in a dry climate what happens is the hyaluronic acid is usually you know trying to get the moisture from the air and if the air is dry then it's going to pull that from your skin so hyaluronic acid for some people can feel drying like they feel that hydration but then it's almost like it evaporates and it feels like it's almost as if they put nothing on if you tend to find that that happens to you you may want to layer it with something else maybe like a creamy moisturizer um, or a facial oil just to kind of like uh, something occlusive that can kind of like I don't want to say trap <laughs> but let's say seal that you know moisture in so this feels really good on my skin my skin does feel a little sticky does this have a smell I didn't notice any smell with it wow that has like zero no smell whatsoever wow <laughs> pretty good because sometimes these pretty products are filled with fragrance and it's just like wow all right that felt great I'm going to move on to the next product so the last pretty product I'm gonna be trying are the Kula Sun Silk Drop Sunscreen SPF 30 again I, this caught my eye just because it looked really pretty even the box is pretty right um doesn't that look cool there's kind of like a theme here I feel like everything was like pink or purple which makes sense because lately like if you watch my um work from home cozy outfit try on haul I tried on this lilac set and I said that like lilac like I'm drawn to like those soft colors now so that makes sense now okay <laughs> this just looks like a regular okay oh, that was oh. let me get this on my skin before <laughs> I talk oh wow that feels great though uh oh <laughs> is it ashen is it making me ashen now see because the moisturizer that I put on felt a little sticky I was like "Ooh, am I gonna have problems with the next thing that I put on my face oh but it seems to be blending in pretty nicely what I was about to say was that I that was not enough for my face but then I was like let me hurry up and get it on because it's like spilling This has a, a, a fragrance to it. I can't put my, I've smelled something like this before, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Not a bad scent, nothing like overpowering where I'm like, oh, this is too much. This is leaving a sheen on my face that I'm not enjoying. Yeah, it's not leaving a residue. This is a chemical sunscreen. I have no idea what they mean by 70% plus organic. I'd have to further read upon that to see. Because again, like I said, for this challenge, we were just picking things that looked pretty. But not, you know what? I'm gonna see how this dries down. But um, my first thought is probably saying like, if you have dry skin, you probably would like this because it does leave like a nice dewy finish on the skin well let me see if it dries down I don't like my skin to look dewy I like a I like satin matte like a little bit of like a like just like the slightest like I want my skin to look healthy but I don't want to look greasy and then dewy can kind of lend towards like, all right, I look dewy now, but five minutes later, I'm going to be greasy looking. That feels nice. All right, let me let this dry down and see what we're looking like. 
and, and see if this is a yay or a nay. Before I forget, I would say I give this a 6.5 out of 10 for this moisturizer. Um, I did like that, like I love, gel creams are probably, gel creams, water creams are probably one of my favorite um, textures in skincare. But the, I didn't see anything really special about this. And this was, this was $39. I've tried gel, like Neutrogena has one, Naturium has one, Crave Beauty has one, Aveeno has one. Like there's so many brands that make gel creams now that are at a lower price point that work similarly to me that I wouldn't need to spend uh, $39 on this. So it's nice, but you know, I wouldn't rebuy this. I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna return this. All right, I got a little caught up posting something on Instagram and lost track of time, but it's been more than a few minutes since I've um, put these uh, sunscreen drops on my face and my face doesn't feel sticky, which is great, but there is a definite sheen, dewiness, um, wet and lookingness to my skin that I don't love. I do think that if you have dry skin, um, you might like this, like this might be more up your speed. I don't know, there are people out there with oily skin that like this look, so you know, if that's you, who am I to stop you? But me, I, I, I like to look like, I, I like something in the middle. I don't want to be like completely matte and I don't want to be like dewy, I just want like in the middle and this is not doing that for me at all. <laughs> I think this would be great under makeup. I um, mean, you know, with makeup on top of it, because it's gonna make your makeup look really, really good. But if you have oily skin, that is going to matter maybe an hour, maybe two hours, because then I do think that throughout the day, um, it can, you know, the texture of the, the drops can affect your makeup wearing, you know, if you're trying to wear it for the whole entire day. Um, I'd give this an eight out of 10, right? now. Granted, it's not for me, but for who it is for, I think I still think this is pretty awesome. Um, I, oh, you know what, maybe seven out of 10, because I do think that because it's so runny, that maybe you might not put enough sunscreen on. Because, you know, because it glides into the skin so nicely, like maybe you might not put enough on. I don't know, you, you let me know what you think. So, I, I, okay, I want to say eight out of 10, but I feel like seven out of 10. Um, it's not for me, but I can still say that a product is a good product even if it's not something that's like for my skin type. So again, if you have a drier skin type, I think this might be more up your alley. As for me and myself, I'm going to be returning this. Right, Y'all, that was our pretty product presentation. <laughs> I hope that, you know, you found this video entertaining and maybe you learned a thing or two about skincare. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because this is where we do the skincare, we do the fashions on Friday, and we have a good time over here. Follow me on social, links will be in the description box, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.